Hello and welcome to the another session on tips and workflow. In today's session, I am going to discuss an extension of my earlier video on selection tool. In last video, we talked about on selection of the nodes using the tools that was introduced with the version 2017. In this session, I am going to discuss on selection of the elements and how you can use it to the interpretation of the war page or some other results. So let's get started. Now aim of, of this session, in this session I am particularly looking for the checking the OLED of the circular portion or the we call, also call as a cylindricity of this uh, circular portion. How do you go about and check it? So I have select an uh, element over here and then I am into the geometry tab in geometry tab in the selection if you go and select a uh, planar triangles pretty much it selects the circular portion and elements on the circular surface and I'm going to create a new layer or say 0 1 and then I'm going to add the elements to it but probably I would also need the nodes on this so this is in just a repetition of the last selection tool I'm going to select the nodes first node second node and the end node so that when the selection tool selects this node they are in the sequential manner go to the element you can see that it has selected nodes I'll keep these nodes as in selection Zero one. Right. Now let's get into the warpage Create a node, new plot, and deflection, and say path plot. Or I'll say that okay. Um, yeah, its path plot is also fine and then I can enter those notes and apply it and you can see that I have created but I would be interested in looking at the results for this so I will uncheck and you can see that results particularly on this portion uh, you can even see and you can see the cylindricity as well well, this cylindricity or circularity is very much similar to the what you would able to see if you have created a, a center axis over here or a coordinate system over in the in the center portion. So for this uh, deflection, I will reduce it to one zero so that there is no more the further confusion, and I can also add LCS to it. Zero. 14 and apply it and I can uh, activate it and when I am looking for a new plot sorry, new deflection plot and uh, I'll say that okay in the cylinder system and instead of that LCS and apply it and you can see that it has not changed in any magnitude so what does it mean that you have done the isolation of that required surface this was on to the cylindrical part let's look at how the selection works on to the flat surface I will own the everything back to the original now select the element on this particularly this area and I am looking for the planar triangles and you can see that I can select the planar triangles over here. Just a little bit move. Uh, I can unselect those. And I create a new layer. Try out 0, 1. And push it in this layer. And also I will go and select the elements particularly which are needed 
for me. Now I can go and sorry triangles and triangles onto the associated with it. Uh, sorry, nodes associated with it. So it selects the, all the uh, elements to it, uh, uh, nodes to it, and those remaining one I can also select those remaining. Yeah, that's fine. Even even if you are selecting the elements, that's fine. Perfectly fine. Not not a problem. And then you look for the deformation. You can see the flatness of this. And particularly if you are interested in the z direction, because flatness is something out of the plane. Now it becomes very difficult to interpret this flatness, right? Uh, from point uh, eight seven to point zero five, maybe a, a difference of like point three. But we, we can run a, a command in geometry, uh, sorry, into the view and then interface and then command line and say flatness. And before I running that, uh, you make sure that you are selecting the nodes on that flat surface. So I selected the nodes on this. Even if you are selecting the elements, that's fine, but you should be selecting the nodes on that. And I'll run the command for it and flatness and just go. And you can see that the warpage before the uh, warp was zero and warpage. So this is what the flatness it, it gives up. I hope this uh, workflow and tip. Uh, video was useful to know more on the result interpretation and selection tool we'll keep on posting more such videos